This is the MAT 125 lesson number 11, determining set equality. In this video, we'll use Venn diagrams to determine if sets are equal. The first example I have, number one, says use a Venn diagram to determine whether the following sets are equal. List corresponding regions of the diagram for each. And so this says A intersected, B union, C complement. So this little apostrophe indicates that it's a complement of the set C, that is, all the s elements of the universal set that are not C. In our book, that is, uh, use a little tiny C for, for the complement, and I use an apostrophe in this example here, I just mean the complement. So this is one set, it's the combination through unions and intersections of three other sets, but it forms one set. And the question is whether this one set, the combination of all of these, sets is the same as the combination of A, B, and C in this form. If you took A intersect B union with A intersect C complement, would all of this be the same as A intersect B union C complement? Would, would they be the same? And I mean by that, would they always be the same for any sets A, B, and C? It was really hard to tell um, just by the form of the expression, we need an organized general method. And the Venn diagram allows us uh, to, to approach it that way. So, so this is how it works. Well, if these two, were e if these two sides were equal, we, we could write it like this. They're equal. But as of right at this moment, it's still a question as, of, as to whether they're equal. So I'll approach this as I do with... Uh, any identity trying to show something is equal uh, all the time. We have a left-hand side of the identity and we have a right-hand side and we'll compare those two and see if they really equate to the same thing. And to do this with a Venn diagram, what you could do is start a list, a, a list of sets and corresponding regions in the Venn diagram. Now the Venn diagram is the universal set, everything that is involved in that particular example. And in this particular example, we've got three sets, A, B, and C, which can overlap in many different ways. We have a set A, B, and C. And in this uh, Venn diagram with these three sets, we actually have eight different regions. So we could piece together what regions the left hand side represents and what regions the right hand side represents and if they represent the same regions then whatever elements happen to be in those sets they would be the same regions and therefore they would have to be the same elements on both sides of this equation. So let's say for example just starting with A. Set A represents regions 1, 2, 4, and 5 and now let's take a look at B union C complement. Okay well C complement I need to sort that out maybe first. C complement is everything that is not in the set C, that is within the universal set. So because C represents 4, 5, 6, and 7, I need to take everything else, including 8, as being C complement. So C complement is 1, 2, 3, and 8. And B union C complement B union C complement would be, well, maybe I should have written down what set B was. Might be able to figure it out without it, but I think I'll just take that extra step. So B is 2, 3, 5, and 6. And now B union C complement is everything in C complement plus everything in B. It's the union, so it's any uh, elements that are in either set or in both. So we could just copy down every region that we have here. One, two, three, five, six, and eight. And I can, as long as it's in one or the other or both of them, it's in the union. Okay, and now the left-hand side, I'm looking for A intersected with B union C complement. So to, to take an intersection, it's only those 
uh, elements that are in both sets and so in this particular analysis it would just be those regions that are in both um, in both sets so we could begin with either of them but it makes sense to start with the shorter list and just see which of those in the shorter list is also in this longer list. So I see one is in both. The two is in both. Okay, I only need to check if four is in both and it isn't. And the five, well the five is in both. So those are the only regions that are both in A and in B union C complement. And so that's the left hand side. Now let's go back and look at the right hand side of that uh, equation that we're trying to check. We could do A intersect B and we could do this separate and then we could take a union of them. So A intersect B would only be the regions that are both in A and B. The regions in both A and B are 2 and 5. 2 is in A and B, 5 is, a, is also in both A and B do A and C complement, so it would have to be regions that are in A and also not in set C, so in the complement of C and in A. So what's in A simultaneously also not in set C, well that's actually the 1 and the 2. I was moving a little faster in calculating those or determining those regions because I can rely on looking at the picture here. But another thing is that actually if we just look back over here, I could have determined that what was in set A and also in C complement would have been only the 1 and the 2. You can see it right here. So I could have repeated that. I could have put A and C complement in this list over here. It's just that it was apparent from the picture and also apparent from what I'd already done here. So I'm skipping that step. And so I can finish this off. Now that I have A intersect B determined and I have A intersect C complement determined, I'll do a union of these two. Well, the union of A intersect B with A intersect C complement would just be the uh, union of these regions, which is regions 1, 2, and 5. And in fact, sure enough, they are the same. Over here on the left-hand side, this collection of intersections and unions of these sets is the same as it is over here. So we can confirm that the left hand side and the right hand side are in fact equal. This is no longer in question. They are equal. Because both sets correspond to the same regions, then the left hand side equals the right hand side. That is, that is, A intersected B union C complement is the same as A intersect B union A intersect C complement. Let's try this example. Use a Venn diagram to determine whether the following sets are equal. List corresponding regions of the diagram for each. Here we have A intersected with B union C and A union B intersect C. Are these equal or not? Let's do the same thing with the Venn diagram. Again, there are three sets involved, and so we've got eight regions. Set A is regions 1, 2, 4, and 5, and B union C is everything in B plus everything in C, so that's 2, 3, 5, 6, 2, 3, 5, 6, but everything in C included, so add on 4 and 7. Now A intersected with B union C is every region that's in both of these lists. So again I could just start with a shorter list and check which of those show up again here. So the 1 is not in both, the 2 is in both, the 4 actually is in both, so include that, and the 5 is in both. So this is the left hand side. The right hand side was A union B intersect C. So A is 1, 2, 4, and 5 as it was before. B intersect C, anything that's both in set B and C, that's just the 5 and the 6. 
things that are both in B and C simultaneously, 5 and 6. And then if I did a union of those, I have this right-hand side. So A union B intersects C. So that's all of these regions combined, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. So these aren't the same. The left-hand side is not equal to the right-hand side. Therefore, A intersect B union C is not equal A union B intersect C. Actually, just to finish this one off, it isn't too hard to actually visualize in the Venn diagram what this really is. Let's draw that picture one more time. So if I was to shade the region that is B or C and in A, that's all of everything in B and C but that is simultaneously in A. So it's these regions. In fact, we could just use what I just did. Regions 2, 4, and 5 is this left-hand side. So it's those regions that are in A and also either in B or C, but had to be in A and in the union of B or C. So that's 2, 4, and 5. And if I did this uh, right-hand side, try to visualize what regions that is, you can see here that we're going to take everything in A and add to that things that are both in B and C, and that's regions 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. So all of A, and add to that elements that are also in both B and C, which means adding this region 6. So these are different regions. These collections of sets, this set that results here on the left hand side isn't the same as the set that re results with these unions and intersections here on the right hand side. Uh, so these sets are not always equal. In fact with this picture you could see that sometimes they could equal, it's just that they are not always equal. They would actually equal in the occasion that region 1 and 6 were empty. If regions 1 and 6 had no elements, then both sides would end up being the same elements, and they would be equal in just that case, that both 1 and 6 were empty. Alright, that's the end of that video. Hope it's been helpful.